Hello there and welcome to Don Amar. So my name is Tom and here today I'm very excited to show you around our latest arrival. So it's an Autotrail Tribute F72. Okay, wonderful looking motor. Uh, so it's a two litre engine on 130 brake horsepower as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you around this lovely van uh, and yeah, show you a few bits and features. So, as you can tell from the front, it's a 20 plate, really, really nice uh, blue cab on this. Uh, really looks so smart. I uh, must say, going around this side, you've got your alloy wheels just there. Moving down, you've got a few points here. So you've got your external uh, main hookup point. So that's where you plug in your mains lead when you're on site, that sort of thing. Fresh water fill up is directly into the side there and your fresh water drain off is just below there as well. Gas locker is just there. So you've got room for the two six kilogram gas bottles uh, to go in there fridge vents and freeze vents just at the top storage just here so this is accessible from the inside as well so i can show you more of that on the inside and then moving around to the back you've got your uh, fuel bike rack fitment so what that means you don't need to drill if you did want to get a bike rack um the fitments are already there just clips on and then you've got your reversing camera just at the top as well so it gives you the helping hand uh, reversing the tribute okay Again, more storage this side, but also accessible from the inside. Okay, so it actually does go all the way uh, across, uh, so you can access it from the other side as well. Okay, toilet set is just in here, and on this model, you've got your external gas barbecue point. Uh, so that just means you don't need to uh, get a gas bottle out every time uh, you want a barbecue. Just plug a, a bit of gas hose on there, and uh, it comes off your gas bottles, okay? As you can see, entrance step is just there as well. You've got an external light, which is just at the top, uh, just there, all right. And then we can jump on him. So a good thing with this entrance step is uh, when you do start your engine, if you do forget, uh, it will go in uh, automatically, okay? Just as we come in on the door as well, you've got your bin and also your auto trail umbrella. So perfect for, unfortunately, a day like today. <laughs> and then we can look in the cab. So it's the Ford cab, uh, really nice cab uh, layout. You've got all your steering wheel controls just there, so you've got cruise control, that sort of thing is down there. Lights clusters just down there. Uh, sat nav and DAB radio is built in just there as well. You can obviously connect a Bluetooth phone uh, to that as well. All air con, that sort of thing is down there. Um, six speed manual gearbox just there as well. You've got your 12 volt points, USBs, that sort of thing is all there really nice looking cab cup holders that sort of thing S swivel seats as well as you can tell uh, we've got your sweets uh seats swiveled okay and then obviously you've got this lovely uh, large seating area so uh, this does travel four uh, but it does sleep six and so this makes it into a bed and we've got the drop down bed just above my head as well and of course the sitting area i'll get uh, out of the way for when he wants to <laughs> you got it yeah so twist key on and then press down goes down as easy as that look okay you've got this bit of elastic just here that you can take off obviously it just pulls all the material in a few lights up there as well and you've also got some cargo nets so it stops anyone uh, rolling that you can clip it up there uh, clip it up here like so uh, and it just stops anyone or anything rolling out okay yeah. going back up literally the exact same just press up okay There you are, wonderful. And then just in here, there is a, uh, a manual override for it. Uh, so if you get a socket in there, um, just in there for whatever reason, if uh, you're on site, so you can wind it up manually. Uh, sink is just there as well. You've got a three burner gas hole to charge there. Okay, igniters are built into the three knobs, which is nice. Storage at the top of your kitchen. You've got your solar panel regulator just there. So nice thing about this van, you can choose which battery you want to select. So say if you're off grid, uh, wild camping, so you can select the leisure, but say if you're on site and you're already charging your battery, you can flip your vehicle, okay? So I'm gonna put that to vehicle just now. You've got your oven and grill just down the bottom, just there. Lots and lots of storage in here as well. Uh, stuff like uh, cutlery jaw uh, is just in there. 
really nice tucked away. Really nice size fridge, it's almost the size of me, uh, so you can uh, fit all your bits and pieces in there, all your beers and wines. And this fridge does all, also run off mains, uh, gas, and also your vehicle battery when you're traveling, so it's got a travel mode on this. With the auto trails, really, really nice um, a control panel all right on this, um, and you've also got your uh, whale heating and hot water just there. Okay, uh, really good system to have. And then just the other side of this door, you've got your washroom. So separate shower, um, which is the auto chair I'd like to do, just there. Uh, obviously really good size sink, really nice uh, lengthy mirror just there as well. And of course you've got your toilet with your toilet flush. There is a shower door tucked around at the back here so you can uh, close it off as well. You're not gonna get everywhere wet. Mm -hmm. And then that leaves us to go to the back area. So uh, really, really huge amount of storage in the back area, so above, uh, your seats you've got also this wardrobe space in here there's the boards for the front bed tv booster box is up there as well so you've got the fixed aerial on this more storage down the bottom and like i say uh say so you've got um loads and loads of storage at the top uh, i could keep showing you i can keep going around uh, i'm sure you don't want to see um, storage though they're all just pure storage last little cupboard i want to go in is just this one when you've got your freestanding table in there so like I say, this back area does make into uh, a bed, we'll do a little switch, uh, so your slats will come out here, flick that down, you'll pull it out and all your slats come out there, and then your cushions will form into a nice sized bed. TV point is also up there as well, but of course you've got a nice uh, sitting area at the back as well, if you did want to watch TV, have a little bit of a chill one, okay? So really, really lovely van and credit, credit to its previous owner. Um, this has just come into sight. It's uh, ready for you uh, to come and view. If you do enjoy uh, this uh, van, have liked what you've seen. My name's Tom. I'll happy, happily help you and assist you if you want to come down. So yeah, hope to see you soon uh, to check out this lovely tribute.